Imagine creating a game with a hero with several properties, such as attack, health, speed, and so on. You want to reward the players with some property upgrades during the gameplay. These upgrades have a similar structure, such as get plus 5 attack, or get plus 20% of speed, or get double jump, or get bow, and others. You want to make these upgrades modular and apply several sequentially to different properties. This is where the decorator design pattern comes in handy. The decorator is a structural design pattern that allows you to dynamically add behaviors or responsibilities to objects without changing their code. It involves creating a set of decorator classes to wrap specific components, add new functionalities or runtime behaviors. Let's create an interface character. This interface has all the necessary methods to control the hero, such as attack, take damage, move, jump, and so on. Next, let's create a default character class that implements the character interface and provides a default hero implementation. After that, let's create an upgrade interface that extends the character interface and will be used for the concrete implementations of upgrades. And finally, let's create classes that implement the upgrade and call them attack upgrade, speed upgrade, health upgrade, double jump upgrade, and so on. Each of these classes must implement all methods from upgrade, accept character in the constructor, and add their specific logic to the implementation. When upgrading a character in the code, you can wrap the current character and work on the new object as before since the upgraded character is still a character. There are four actors in this design pattern. A component defines a common interface for concrete components and decorators. Concrete component class implements the component interface and provides basic functionality that decorators can enhance. We then have the decorator, an interface extending from component. It maintains a reference to the component instance. And concrete decorators are subclasses of decorator that add specific behavior or responsibilities to a component. In terms of advantages, it adheres to the open close principle as it allows for extending object's functionalities without altering their existing code. This ensures the system is open for extension but closed for modification, promoting a robust and flexible design. Also, it supports the addition and combination of various decorators at runtime. This results in a dynamically changing system and flexible behavior extensions. Furthermore, the pattern encourages a separation of responsibilities. This approach enhances the maintainability of the code, making it easier to manage and update. On the flip side, one of the primary challenges is the complexity it introduces, resulting in an increased number of classes. This can make the codebase more intricate and challenging to grasp, especially for newcomers or those unfamiliar with the pattern. Additionally, the order in which decorators are applied is crucial, as it can significantly impact the system's behavior. If not managed carefully, this could lead to unexpected results, potentially creating bugs or issues within the application. That's all about the decorator design pattern. See you in the next video.